Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Welcome, new subscribers. Nice to have you with me. So glad you're here. Virgo, you and your person, Virgo. Virgo, you and your person. Virgo. Spirit. Let's get her on and let's get her done, Virgo. I've got a flip. Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Virgo. You have, well, the lover's card. Four of Cups. Six of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands. Ooh. You're all over energy, Virgo. You're all over energy. Spirit. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. Your person. Virgo's person, spirit, Virgo's person, they have the nine of wands, yikes, let's move them over in hopes that you can see, they have the hanged man, justice, Well, the ultimate deception, the ultimate pain. Three of swords. Eight of wands. Ooh, nine of pentacles. Wow. They're all over energy. All over energy with Virgo's person. Holy shit. Death card. Okay. Okay. Feeling the great attraction to this person and um, feeling this attraction to them, Virgo, is uh, you probably think a lot about them sexually. Now, I don't like to get into that stuff because Cher's a bit of a prude. No, I'm not a bit of a prude. I'm a freaking prude. But you kind of, like, think about that intimacy that you had and that times in the boudoir, and you kind of really miss that. Not saying that you don't miss them, but you're really highly, highly on alert about missing the time in the boudoir. Now, the person, your person refused your cup. But you want them. You know what? I don't know if they refused your cup or if you refused their cup. And spirit speaks loud and freaking clear. Here I go. Loud and clear coming through. Thank you, spirit. There you go. You refused their cup. And if you didn't, you kind of made it perfectly clear that you felt that maybe this is all they wanted. I mean, it's not that you were complaining because I do feel that you miss the boudoir time. I feel that you miss that intimacy 
But I think you refused her cup because you felt that's all there kind of was. You felt maybe that you were just maybe being used or being played or something. But now we got this wanting to be recognized. Wanting to work on it. And perchance, maybe you could work with this person. Hmm. My mind's eye shows me an empty chair. It's not in this card, but I see an empty chair. This could be someone that could be you're working with, but now the emptiness. Um, it could be Virgo that they were once, they might have passed by many, many times. They don't pass by at all anymore. Like you barely see them. There's a great chance that you probably work with this person, but they're kind of hide now. You're kind of hiding. Uh, you kind of want to take your cup somewhere. You might be waiting for some other ship to come in. You want them to recognize you, yeah, but, um, you know, there's, it's almost like there's a feeling while well, they're hiding from me, and, you know, I wonder if I should take my cup elsewhere. This is a very young person. I can feel it. And I do see that you do take care of yourself. You do. You take good care of yourself. You treat yourself well. You keep your garden good. And you're kind of wondering, should I move on? Should I take my cup elsewhere? But I really want them to come back. Now your person, your person feels heavy. They feel burdened. They feel that this has been very, very draining. They've thought about it over and 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 over. They've thought about it. They kind of wonder if the scales were balanced or not. They kind of wonder if there was... any liberty here or any justice here they kind of weighing out the scales on who said what and who did what there was a great heartbreak that this person felt and is probably still feeling there was a great heartbreak Communications coming in from this person, and I gotta tell you, they also take care of themselves. Heart, body, mind, soul. This is someone who's someone who takes care of themselves, just like you. Just like you. This is two very, very beautiful people. Two people who are very much into taking care of their appearance, the way they look taken good care but this person seems to be weary heavy laden this is taking a lot out of them they also believe that it's done it's over with the death card but with the death card comes renewal so Virgo let's pull some cards let's see if we can get anything else here to find out what is going on You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Libra. 
Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So what I'm feeling is that you very much want a whole brand new connection with this person. You want a brand new beginning. Uh, like I said here in the first, that there was a great passion between the two of you, and I do believe that, and I do believe that you missed that passion. This is definitely a soulmate, and you want equal give and take. You want it all to work. Yeah. Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Um, there's confusion here and there's confliction. Can't make a decision. Do you want to go for it? There's entrapment here at times. And I can kind of feel that. It feels like there's entrapment here and it probably happens mostly at night. That there's a lot of entrapment. There's a missing here. Missing somebody. You really do believe that this can work. You want him to recognize you. You want him to come back. And from what I can see, there are probably, your person is probably uh, very um, Takes very good care of themselves. Probably very handsome or very beautiful. Let's pull some cards for them. We have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, okay, so when I got heaviness, heartbreak, there's no doubt this person also is very passionate for you, also. I don't know, Virgo, if you told your person that maybe you felt like you were just like uh, for one thing only. But you know what the passion that this person has for you, I'm going to have to say no. You're more than that. But they also feel that sometimes you might draw the sword out sometimes. You make too many judgment calls. But they also miss you very much. And that's written all over here. They miss you very much. They think back. Looking at what was and not seeing the two cups fall behind them the cups of hope so seriously someone's got to bust a move here but your person's feeling that it's done holy crap with the ten of wands they really do there's something about this connection that really really drove it home to them that this person truly truly misses you and they do want also to reconcile. And with the Ace of Cups, whole brand new love. There's a great possibility that they're coming back in, or is it you? So let's pull some cards right down into the middle for the two of you. Spirit. Nightmare. Nine of Swords. Holding on to the Nightmare with the Four of Pentacles. The Magician. Great wizard himself trying to change things. Chariot, someone's on the roll, or somebody is manifesting. Get in the car and come, come. Ten of Wands, somebody's feeling a great ending here. A very, very painful ending. I'm going to have to say it's over here. Someone's feeling a great ending. I got the King of Cups here. Very emotional. Very emotional. Someone is very, very deeply hurt here, and there is another who's living a nightmare. What the hell are the two of you doing? <laughs> Seriously, what are you doing? And I'll tell you exactly what you're doing. You're mirroring each other. Look, there's great potential there. Great potential for this to happen. There you go. If not the one, you're going to move. The universe is going to move you. Ooh, I don't want to see that. Too many cards. We ain't going to go any further, okay? Because when they stop making sense, you've done. You've done pulling cards when they stop making sense. 
So I have Virgo, you're probably feeling entrapped. I'm trying to make a decision. You miss this person. They're your soulmate, you know it. You know it. But you kind of like having sleepless nights and kind of wondering, you know, and the two of you, I feel, I feel the two of you are, you probably feel each other for God's sake. If this is resonating, you're feeling each other right now. You can feel them, they can feel you. You want them to come. Unfortunately, they're kind of feeling like this is over. And when I got their all over energy as a death card, they're feeling that this is over, it's done, and it's very, very painful. There's no doubt in my mind that they're actually crying. But there's great potential here for the universe to blare its mighty trumpet and bring it back. Death card. It only means renewal. Death of the old. And what was the old? There might have been some bullshit that happened here. And that was the old. Bringing in the new. A whole different way. Understanding each other. Virgo, this has been your reading for you and your person. Namaste. Namaste.